In Ukraine is having devastating effects, especially for thousands, if not tens of thousands of children, many of them orphans. These pictures are from Kyiv, where hundreds of orphans were forced to huddle together in basements after the orphanage they lived in were targeted in Russian attacks. Here at home, a family says an 11-year-old boy from Ukraine was their missing piece. They hosted him for a month during Christmas and knew instantly he was meant to be a part of the family, but adoptions and even hosting have all come to a screeching stop after Russia launched a full-scale invasion into his home country. Tonight, Fox 13 News reporter Jennifer Lee went to Snohomish, where his mom, dad, and sisters wait for his homecoming. The Page family lives here in Snohomish. It's a retreat for all kinds of farm animals they've taken in. Chicken, ducks, a cow named Ms. Molly Moo, and more. Not to mention three growing girls between two and seven years old. But Katie Jo Page says there's a missing piece. An 11-year-old boy named Makita, who's currently in southeast Ukraine. Their uh, orphanage had been uh, without power, just running on a generator. Um, so access to charge a phone is slim. The last time Paige heard from Makita was two days ago, and the last time before that was a week before. I had to take the week off of work, um, just getting up and showering and taking care of the kids on the farm was, <laughs> it, it felt almost impossible, um, just knowing what he was going through. Paige says they usually talk every day. The family gave Makita a cell phone after they hosted him for a month during Christmas and New Year's. That was his first visit to what will now become his forever home. It's very long. It's a 12 to 18 month process. It's about $40,000. It requires multiple trips to Ukraine. We have three kids. We both work full time, have a farm. We just didn't think it was possible. And then we met him. <laughs> He got here and we instantly knew he was meant to be our son. But right now, adoptions and even hosting are paused due to the war. Families like Pages are now advocating for temporary visas for children in Ukraine who are in the adoption process. He's not legally our son, but in our hearts, he is. He's our family. My daughters call him their brother. He's, he's our son. Page says they'll exhaust all their options until Makita is back home. If Makita were to see this, I would tell him I love him big and that he'll be home soon. That's what we always say. We always go, I love you big. <laughs> that, that's our thing. <laughs> In Snohomish, Jennifer Lee, Fox 13 News. The Page family is hoping others will help them raise awareness by reaching out to federal lawmakers and letting them know about the children in Ukraine that they're trying to bring home to safety.